going to do a big solar upgrade on the cabin today, so stay tuned. So this is kind of an unexpected upgrade. I didn't expect to do this. So let me tell you what happened. Um, lately, my batteries that I've had in my system, those 12 volt batteries, uh, haven't been working very good. Uh, I've only been getting about three and a half to four hours runtime on those batteries. And that's, that's not really very good. And in the winter time, it would take forever for a 100 watt solar panel to charge them up. It just wouldn't happen. So I generally, well, I've got, those are almost five years old, those batteries, and that's a lifespan of 12 volt batteries in a solar system. You're gonna get four or five years out of them and that's it. So they've reached the end of their lifespan. And lately I've been using the generator uh, more often than not to for, for power. I have a little inverter generator that works well. It's not too bad, not too loud. And anyway, so I, I've been using that. And the other night I started it up and I, had my power and then all of a sudden it quit. Long story short, the ignition coil went, so I have to replace that. Uh, luckily, I have a backup generator, which I use for my power tools, but it's quite, it's really loud. Anyways, I plugged it in, I had power. And as I sat here listening to the generator, I thought to myself, you know what? When I'm down here, I don't want to hear a generator. I don't hear any generator. Um, so I'd really like to have you know, better, better solar. So, and I want to rely on the solar as my, as my primary source of power. And then just have the inverter generator for backup in case, you know, you get really bad weather, several days of it, where you need to, to have a generator. So, yeah, I had to make a decision and say, well, if I'm going to upgrade my solar, got to do it now. Winter's coming fast. So I said, yep, yeah, all right, let's do it. And um, yeah, so basically we're gonna see how this works. Um, <clears throat> I got five times the solar power, almost. I get from 100 watts to 470. Um, I doubled my battery capacity from 200 amp hours to 420. And I got a 40 amp charge controller. So well, let's, uh, let's install this system and uh, see how it works. So first off, I'm going to replace the 100 watt panel with two 235 watt panels. That'll give me 470 watts or almost five times the solar power that I currently have. Okay, so we have the uh, solar panels installed. Let's go do those batteries. This is my battery box. I got lucky on this. Uh, somebody was using this as a firewood box and they were getting rid of it. And I looked at that and said, well, that's the perfect size for my batteries, I think. So I measured it and yes, it was the exact perfect size for my batteries. Um, it's nice, it's well made, it's three quarter inch plywood and you know, somebody did a good job putting it together. Uh, the only thing I added, I added these two latches. These are chest latches. So they really pull the, the lid down tight. Also, I sealed everything with silicone and heavy duty weather stripping so that uh, when the batteries give off hydrogen gas, of course, hydrogen rises and you don't want it to come out through the top anywheres. It's up off the floor about uh, half an inch and I drilled holes in the bottom and that allows the air to flow in through, up and then out the vent. Inside the box, you can see my two batteries, perfect fit. So pretty standard, I have the two six volt uh, batteries wired in series so to give me 12 volts. Still have the 420 amp hours. Um, the vent is back here and you can see a little fan in front of it. I don't know if I needed to put that fan there. I put it there anyways and I wired up a switch to the outside so I can just turn that on if I want to. I can leave that on all the time. I mean, it only burns, uh, what does it run? 0 0.2 amps. So that would run forever without ever drawing the batteries down. You can get those for under 10 bucks at any computer store. 
but it's very important to uh, make sure that that hydrogen gas is going outside. Uh, remember the Hindenburg? Exactly. So, uh, there's also a calculator online. I'm going to put a link in the description that you can actually go to and put in your numbers and it'll calculate roughly how much hydrogen gas uh, you, you're producing from your batteries and, and how many cubic feet of air you have to exchange to get rid of it. So you can check that out. But these two batteries, they really don't produce a whole lot of, of hydrogen gas. But what they do produce, I want it going outside. And this is the vent I put out through the, the cabin. So basically it's just a two inch pipe. I put a little piece of bug screen on it. Wrapped it in duct tape and sealed it with silicone. So no rain is going to go in, no bugs. And it should vent out all the hydrogen gas. Here's the new charge controller. It's the 40 amp one. And as you can see it has it on the main interface. It tells you that it is charging from the solar panels. Um, shows you how many volts your batteries are, how it's currently charging. It's a, it's a good it's a good charge controller. It it takes care of everything automatically. It it's set to equalize your batteries once a month and everything. So yeah, so it it just runs. It's standard. It does have some nice displays on it. It's a step up from the old one I had, which it was either blinking it's charging or it's not and it, it wasn't. But this tells you a lot more information. Currently the solar panels are at uh, 44 volts and uh, just over 5 amps. Uh, that's down a bit. It's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It was, it was a lot more earlier. It was about 70 volts and 15 amps. Um, it's one, yeah, so it's 1 o'clock. The sun is at its peak, but unfortunately there's an oak tree kind of blocking the sun right now um, as it comes around. I didn't want to cut that tree down, but I think I'm going to have to. I mean, it's it's even worse in the summertime because it, it has all the leaves on it. It's a nice shade tree, but not good for solar. Anyways, yeah, amps are, yeah, around four. And it has more information, too. It tells you about your battery if you want to go through it. Um, even tells you the temperature of the battery. It does have a temperature sensor, so it charges the battery based on the current temperature and yeah back to your main screen all right so that's it that's the uh, solar upgrade for the cabin uh, right now we're almost mid-november so the next two months are going to be interesting uh, as we go into december towards christmas when the days start to get really short and the sun is really low in the sky uh, it's going to be interesting to see if you know the solar panels can charge those batteries and keep them charged and if the batteries have enough capacity that I can run what I need down here which isn't a whole lot I really put a lot of thought into it I thought about what I'm using right now what I might use in the next five plus years and uh, I don't really see it changing a whole lot I mean I have lights I have a few little gadgets I like to run my laptop you know maybe someday I'll put a small LED television in but you know those things are they don't run much power these days anyway so um, and you only run it for a little while, so it's no big deal. I don't need huge, I don't have huge power requirements down here by any means. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping this will be enough. Um, what I'll do is about mid-January, I'll do an update and let you guys know how it, how it worked out. I'll know by then. And, uh, but I think it's going to be fine. I mean, there, you know, you may have to kind of be a couple times there where you have to be kind of, you know, easy on your power. I mean, the days are really short around Christmas uh, and there's not much sun, so. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Okay, I just wanted to do a quick uh, update to the end of this video. So it's been two days since I've had the new uh, solar system installed and so far I'm real happy with it. Um, both nights I've been running it I would start the inverter at around 5 o'clock, it'd be dark, 
I'd run it until about 11 o'clock at night, so about six hours. And uh, the batteries, uh, when I shut it off, were still at 12.5 volts, so that's about 75-80%. Um, so I'm happy with that. That's great. And both following mornings, uh, the, the, it, they weren't sunny days. Both days were very overcast and cloudy. But both days, uh, by 10.30... The batteries were charged back up to 13.2 volts, so uh, it's not having any problem right now, mid-November. It's not having any problem to uh, uh, to keep everything going, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So far, so good, so we'll see what happens by uh, mid-January, so I'll do another update then. Thanks for watching, guys.